watch Gumar. Recommended unhesitating. Bulk is always got a some good cinema. His ki or ka, his pa, his chini kam. But all movies that I thought were worth watching were talking about. From one angle or the other, they all made interesting cinema. Add to that list Gumar. Gumru. What's Gumru? Gumru probably is an expression invented in the film as a bowling action. The Blasit Malinga and Bumra can get a kind of bowling in. Why can't Balki introduce a new kind of bowling? There's physics to the story as to why the Gumar bowling action is justified. But I'm jumping the line. Let's look at what the film is about. I also would strongly recommend people watch Gumar for a fine performance from Abhishek Bachchan. An underrated actor living a little away from his times and its demands. Was at the prime of his career when people wanted six packs more than acting tower. Somewhere suffered from the shadows of the banyan tree. But this is an amazing actor and watches Oli Rocky. Watch how he translates the drunken scenes in the film. They are far more emotive than Bigby does in the lighter moments of films like Amar, Rantini, Nassim, etc. It's also the story of a human spirit it also reflects women in power. Women cricket, cricket, women in power, the spirit to fight, all put together in a sports saga. Our sports films have a narrative, and I don't blame them for it because it's a area rarely visited. So the templates are very clear. You, you have them struggling. You have them coming out from an alien world into the world of cinema. They are not Gen X kids. Sometimes they come from towns, not here, of course. And uh, they have a coach. There's a funny relationship between the coach and the trainer and how they finally see success. Most of these templates find their place in Balki's narrative in Guru. But more interestingly, there are many of which are kept away from. Like there's no sex angle, there's no exploitation, there's no corruption. Tell him run straight. Interesting, the person who plays the chairperson of the cricket team, women's cricket team, uh, Naila Masood, she plays Rumi Bakil. Very sensitive, very straight role. She of course plays that, yes, are you all ready kind of a role. But in contrast to the typical co uh, selection uh, team of intrigue and politics, she, it's straight here. Yeah. Going back to the story, or coming to the story, we have Anina. Girl born in a affluent family, not uh, she's not living in uh, Randhava Palace, but she, affluent. Her father, interestingly, uh, Aina's dad is played by Shivendra Singh Dungarpur. Shivendra Singh Dungarpur, incidentally, is the nephew of Raj Singh Dungarpur. Raj Singh Dungarpur, who is the manager for Lata Mangeshkar's concerts, is more about her relationship and with that of Raj, Raj Singh. And also Raj Singh Dungapur has been the selector of the Indian cricket team. Remember, he is the man who made the famous statement to Azaruddin, Captain Badoge. And he's also been a manager of the Indian cricket team on foreign tours. So it's nice to see Raj Singh Dungapur's uh, nephew come into the film playing a sports person's father. As the grandmother, there's a takeaway performance from Shabana. Shabana once again proves that you don't have to have a great role, you just have to add your presence to it. She plays the role of a grandmother who knows her cricket, who loves Federer too, because when asked, uh, why are you so underacting when there's good news, she says, my Federer keep at So she knows her games, the script writer has given her the right dialogues and it goes so, so, so well with the persona that Shabana asks me. Uh, be it the scene where a tear drops her from her eye, be it the scene when she's exuberant, 
be perceived when she's enthusiastic, the smug smile when she's writing down scorecards. Every moment of Shabarnasmi is pictured to perfection in the film. But the center to the film is Saira Kerr, who plays Anina, a natural born the right hand batter, who serendipitously makes it to the Indian team. But on her way to making it, she runs into Paddy. Padam Singh Soni, a one test match wonder, who is obviously frustrated, has become an alcoholic, lives in an unknown place with uh, his half sister, Jessie, played by Ivanka Das, who is supposed to have saved and given her a new meaning and purpose in life, a transgender. And Paddy disapproves and very rudely about the talent that uh, Anina has in contrast to what everybody is going gaga about. This leads to a ghastly road accident where uh, Anina loses her limb, after which she got back. But under the tutelage of Paddy, she becomes a great bowler. And how she goes to play in England, how she succeeds against the English team, is what the story is about. To give it a real, uh, realistic tinge, you always have sentences coming like if Tiger Putaudi could come out and back after a, road, after a road accident in England with one eye, why can't my third bowl with one hand? And when it's said that she can't bat, she wins the match with her batting too, and the match of course is a different story. Uh, there are stories about Chandra couldn't bat. Oh, and we have a legendary number of tailenders who couldn't bat at all. Uh, there's also homage or thanks, uh, there's also gratitude acknowledgement of Bishan Bailey and Murli Kartik. I don't know what Murli Kartik was, but Bishan is seen in the film. And of course, there's a greater acknowledgement of Bishan being the greatest left arm spinner ever in the history of the game. I completely endorse that view. Also, the film deals with a few nice little bits about cricket, how you bowl, what you about Warner making his debut, about how no, nothing is impossible in the field of cricket. Those who love cricket have interesting moments in this film. Those who love women empowerment, go and watch this film. Shabana watchers, go and watch this film. People who are trying to now say that women's cricket needs its international space, if not equal to at least somewhere near the Indian cricket, go and watch the film. There's also a reference, incidentally, to uh, G.R. Vishwanath about he playing uh, the super fast bowlers of the West Indies, Andy Robertson gang, without a helmet. Uh, he may have been a little biased there because he should have said Sunny Gavaskar did it too, because Sunny Gavaskar opened the innings while Vishy batted at four. Notwithstanding that, lovely film. I enjoyed every bit of the 130 odd minutes of the film. Palki knows what he's talking about, what he's doing. He's in control. But finally, the film belongs to Abhishek Bachchan. It's a reiteration that the man is talented. It's a cry for recognition of good talent. It is paradoxical that in the multiplex where I went to see the film, Hordes and hordes of people were going into watching uh, Jailer or uh, the other movie that was uh, Gather, and there were few takers for this movie. Is that a reflection of the collective? Is it that we the people sit down and always criticize cinema in our country but are unwilling to go out and watch a good movie? All those who look down at our cinema from verticals, oh, Hindi films, are the ones who are probably not ready to buy their money, put their money where their mouth is, go and watch Kumar. Here's a chance for you to cleanse your conscience. Lovely movie, go and see Kumar. Salute to Balki, but salutations. Completely unreserved Abhishek Bachchan. Sign off with the customary acknowledgements to Datu and Abhinav, do watch the movie. Please watch the movie. 
and do come out with your comments. Thank you. Bye-bye.